a vein tear either side of the hole. Now that's the definition of a bullet hole. Alrighty guys, so we're back and I've got me new indoor arrows I'm going to tune today and I've got the Sim Shooter 6000 back out. And in the last episode of the Sim Shooter, we're having major issues with the paper tear. And guess what people, I was doing it totally everything wrong as per usual. So as the saying goes, learn from my mistakes, not from what I teach or whatever that whatever that saying is. But, um, so what I was doing wrong, I was moving the yoke, I was, I was yoke tuning while I was paper tuning. So I was fixing the paper tears with the yoke and moving me rest with the bear, bear shaft. Whereas I should have been moving me rest with the paper and moving me yoke with the bear shaft. Again, and everything back to front. So, what I'm going to do is start off with me veined arrows that I know these are um, my the old pat, platinum pierce with the with the um, veined up arrows on you. And these were bullet holing, so I'm going to get these bullet holing. Once I get these bullet holing, I'm going to bring out the bear shafts in the thing. I'm going to use the shooter. And um, yeah, that should be good to go. So let's let's rig it up. And before we do that, I might go get the tool kit. A few people have been saying at home, this bar's to stop the swing back. This bar here's to stop the swing back, so not the size I got the same machine as tool kit. Perfect, so just play with the rubber band and make sure it's not getting torqued. It's going to get the road of me drop away. Let's bring you over here so you can hear me and not just hear me mumbling. Good idea. Gotta stop sticking my tongue out all the time too, I guess. Um, so here we got this thing here that stops the swing back. So when the bow goes, woo, 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 this is meant to stop that. But the problem is it, it's hitting my drop away cord. I don't see how I can use this with my drop away. Hmm. That's no good then. Let's just get it out of the road then. this a little bit so we can get the bubble right I 
Ah, bubble, perfect. Okay, so now I'm working out the sim shooter. So to get your bubble, you've got to twist the legs. You change the angle of the legs here. Greg said to like so many things, and he, I think he got a bit confused himself, and he thought this was for the, the bubble. But now we're bubbling it, we don't really need this anymore. Probably just take this off for the time being, I think. Alright, looking good. So we know we're getting big left hairs, so let's move the rest before we even start. I've got some proper Allen keys now this time. Make things a bit easier. Okay, so that's a, I think that's a better idea. So let's get this off. Everything's getting close, though. We're getting there. Getting there. So I'm just going to loosen off my arm. Loosen off me rest, because I know I was shooting major left tears, so that means I have to move me rest in. Let's come over a whole notch. Oh, it makes it easier having just the right iron keys. The wrench comes in handy if you're on the line, but that's a lot better. Let's tighten it back up. All right. So pre-guessing that we're getting going to get a left hair because that's what we had last time. I moved the rest accordingly. With left hairs, you move the rest into the riser. looking good. Hey, this camera. God, I can't wait till I got my camera back. Still in my head in. There we go. Bubble all good. We're good to have a shoot. We're good to have a shot. Finally, everything's set up. How's that? God, camera. Struggling with me fine. I don't know how much you, you don't know how good the good camera is. So you don't have it. Okay, so we're all good to go. Knocked up. How are we looking on the shot?
Okay, good to go. Spot on, cam timing is perfect now. Check that out. Perfect there. Perfect there. Cam timing is good to go. The bubble's looking good, or a touch out. Bubble's perfect. Everything's looking good. what's going on, I'm just turning the old aiming stick, the aiming handle, getting it onto the target. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Alright. There we go, everything in, in view. Yeah. Hang on, there we go. Okay, here we go. Nice, even release. We're still getting the left hair. But the bow should have worked perfect. Look at that, massive left hair still. Massively. Sorry about that, bad thing goes. So there it is there, it's going in there. Is it which way? Is it? Yeah, and then it's tearing over to here. So it means we gotta move the rest inwards some more. Massively. Alright, so let's um, go do that. So, got it loosened off. So I've moved it over one notch. Let's move it over another one. Alright, that's another notch moved over. Let's tighten that off. This looks better. It looks like it's in the middle of the riser now. It's crazy how much the laser doesn't work with the Hoyt bow. Ridiculous. With me old Matthews. You can just do the center shot. 
with the laser and it was like spot on. You'd walk back, test it, and it's just ready to go. Okay, talk free. Talk free, here's the bubble. Bubble's looking great, everything's looking great. Let's grab the arrow. It's looking good. Bubbles all good, everything's all good to go. Do you want to see the long distance shot? Alright, here we go. I'll just double check. And we're still on, we're all good on aiming. We're still left tearing. But it is a little bit high. It is a bit low, I mean, so we gotta lift the rest up. Let's lift the rest up and see if that brings it over a bit more. You see that? We're still left here and let's move that over to there. We should be able to go again without moving anything. Alright, it's going to be good when I finally get this bullet hole in again. Ridiculous. So what I've got to do now, move the rest up. Loosen it off. We're gonna go. It's not too much. Oh, no,
Okay, that's up a fair way. Let's tighten her off. Let's see what that does to the tan air. All three, all good to go. The only thing about time, it only just takes so long, everything. So one hour at a time, fix this, change that, do this. Up, down, left, right, in, out. I don't know what happened then, but uh, we're all good to go, about to fire, see what um, is going to happen this time. So I've moved the rest up. Let's fire this bad boy and see how we go. Sounded very, very tingy. Must be something rattling on the on the sim shooter. Oh, we haven't tightened this up. The main bolt, the main bolts come loose on the sim shooter, but the tear is looking great. Let me just fix the sim shoot. That is what the big one is for. But let's have a look at this tear. Look at that, getting a lot better. Heaps better actually. Still a little bit low, so let's bring it up a little bit more and see how we go. All right, I'll get the arrow, I'll get it all set up and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've moved the rest up like a notch and a half, so I think I've moved up too much. I got a bit excited, but um, let's, let's give it a go and see if it reverses the tear. We'll soon find out. Alright, it just needs a little bit of realignment. Full draw, don't you love it? Okay. 
Elbow is looking good. Right on the money. All right, we're good to go. Let's have a look from this angle. It's looking good, but we've still got a low tear. It's crazy because I lifted it up heaps. Lifted it up heaps, heaps. I'm talking heaps. So I have to lift it up a bit more, I guess. Well, now that we're pretty, I suppose we're pretty flat. Let's try moving it over a bit more now. So we're getting closer. Look how small the tear is. So we've got, we made a big improvement. Look, this is. One of the first ones down here. So we're getting smaller. Let's move that rest over and uh, see if we can get it bullet holing. Then we can move on to the indoor arrows, finally. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I've moved the rest down a little bit and um, moved the rest over a little bit. So let's, should be good to go. Bubble's good. Everything's good to go, see what it's on. Perfect. Oh, bubble spot on, ready to go. Target's ready to go. Let's see what this has done. Shot through the same hole in the paper. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? God, I love this tuning. Love this tuning. Love this tuning. Still looks like we've got a big rip though. Love shooting through the same hole. Oh, God damn it. All right, let's put it back on. See if we can shoot through a different bit of the paper. See if that's fixed anything. Still back to a massive left tear, so I must have moved the rest down too much. Let's 
It's a massive left tail still. Yeah, bang, they were smaller when the rest was up, so I'm going to move the rest back up. There we go. I'm getting sick of this tune and let me tell ya. One, two. Alright guys, we'll be back when I've lifted it up a bit. Okay, so I've moved the rest back up a little bit. Okay, let's see what this does. I'm running a fraction below the burger hole at the moment. Still left tearing. I was just trying to see how far it's up. The blade looks right in the middle of the arrow rest at the moment. We're still getting a bit of a high left tear. But that looks better. Let's lift it, lift it up a tiny bit more and see what happens. All right, let's get back to you. All right, I've moved it up a little bit more. Let's go again. The only thing I notice with this cable, I've got to make sure it starts rolling at the top so it doesn't start looping over itself. Good to go. It's looking good, we're looking level on the bubble. Fire it off.
a move that's paper over too much. I am on fire. I'm just going to shoot it. Save me. Oh no, I'm set the thing back up. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Takes so long to get things set up all the bloody time. I'm just gonna have a couple of shots myself. Speed the process up. We'll see if the tears are still doing the same tears. That'll be interesting. Definitely way better. Still the same height here. It's getting smaller. Now I'm going to lift it up a tiny bit more and then we'll see how it goes. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, I've lifted it up a fraction. See what it does now. Ooh, it's getting smaller. We get smaller, smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. My fraction. So let's go up a tiny bit more and see if it does anything. We'll be back again. All right, I've moved it up a little bit more. Another half a turn. A car of a turn, half a turn. Let's see how we go. Still think I'm too far inwards, but I guess the paper doesn't lie, does it? No marks on the thing. It's still high. Maybe it's the cam time. But the cam time look good. Oh, I don't the old um still getting the high tear. I can't lift a high left tear. What's a high left why? Why, 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 why? We should be bullet holing by now. Use it there. At least we're getting smaller. We've made progress, I guess. Some sort of progress. be back move it up a bit more okay so I've eyeballed okay so I've eyeballed it in I've eyeballed the center shot back to the center of the riser so it's lined up dead set from the center riser and I've lifted the blade up a little bit let's see if we can get a board hole and something close to a board hole this left head just will not disappear
Oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think we're getting closer. Finally. Look at that, that's just a fraction, still just a fraction high, maybe another quarter of a turn and we'll be there. Let's uh, try that and see if we get anywhere. Okay, I've raised it up a fraction more again. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Now I've gone back to a massive tear. Oh. Well, I know what I did anyway, so we can go back and try it again. But I'm going to shoot that arrow again. Wait there. I'll reshoot it, then I'll show you the two tears. See if they're the same or not. We might have lifted the rest up too much and we're getting a... Starting to get a bit of vein touching on the rest. Just kick it up again. Only got to get a bit of bone touching. Means the arrow rest isn't dropping away fast enough now. That's how I move my thing back, make it drop away a bit faster and get back to you, okay? Alrighty guys, so I moved my drop away point from here back to here to make the drop away fall a bit faster. Let's see if that does anything to this paper tune now. Got a fresh bit of paper up there, so this will be the first bit of first hole in the paper. There we go. It was the drop away the whole time. So I had the drop away set in the wrong spot the whole time. Can you believe that? Look at this now. Just a slight left hair. So let's move that. Let's move it over a little bit to the left now. We should be good to go. Ooh, working these things out with the drop away. Right, now that we've got um pretty squared in, let's try a bare indoor shaft. The new NVXs. Perfect. Let's see what these bad boys do. A low tear. I've got to lower it down a bit more. A low left hair though still, mind you. Let's go check it out. So the bear shaft's tearing low left. So I've got to lower the rest a bit now. It's still shooting to the left. I don't know why it's shooting to the left so much. Alright, so um, let's uh, move that 
Let's get the app to tune out. Tell me, have a look which way the app to tune app tells me to move it. And we'll move it that way. Let's start with the bear shafts now. See what I can do. See if we can get it going. And for all you wondering at home, do I have it too close to the thing? No. Look, it's not touching the paper before it, it's not touching the bag before it leaves the paper. So we're good on that department. All right, so it's not that. Let's, um, his left hair is doing me head in. Okay, so let's uh, move the rest down a little bit again. Oh, do you know what we can do? Let's try the 150. So this is the bear shaft indoor 150 grain points. See if that makes any difference. That's a bullet. That is a bullet hole. Just a fraction low, so if we just lowered the rest, the 150s are the go. Alright, let's do that. Let's lower the rest down. Just a fraction, see if we can get these 150s going. We'll be back. Alrighty, so I uh, moved it down a fraction. Let's give this a go, see if um, we can get these bullet holes. Now it's a massive tear. Let's reshoot it. I'll go get it again and we'll shoot it again. There's a massive left tear, so let's try it again, make sure it wasn't me. If not, well, no, we've moved it too far. Major left here again. All right, let's move it back to where it was and see if I can get that bullet all again. Alright, so I've moved it back to where it was. Let's see if I can get that bullet hole again. Well, I'm giving up. That's it for today. Alright, here's the 120. Well, there you goes that. I think I just hit me paper frame and just snapped it. <laughs> I think it's time to give up for the day, people. I don't know what happened then. I think I aimed a bit too high. Well, there goes that arrow. Let's go show you the damage. I mean, this is in the background cracking up laughing. What happened? 
Where does it hit? Half of it's gone. Go, oh, it's gone everywhere. Look what happened. Oh no. How did that happen? Oh, I wrecked the whole roll of paper. Look at this. It must have come through. I don't know what's happened. Look, it's come through. Oh, it must have come through, caught the paper, then wrapped itself around it. But, um, oh, what? No, I'm not liking these 500 knots. Look at this as well. This is the may be the problem. It might be bought on. Look, I've snapped a knock. Just shooting it. Fuck knows how I'm going to get that out. Right, so now I've got to wait for some pin knocks for these because these knocks are dodgy as hell. I have major troubles with that. But here anyway, let's see the destruction. We've got a snappage right in the middle. Let's see how thick. It's a good way to test your arrows. Is <laughs> no way to use laugh. Um, to see what's inside them, to see how much fibre's in there, and it doesn't look like there's that much fibre. You can tell how good your arrows are by how much like furriness comes out of them. The more like furry cloth looking material means there's more cloth and less carbon. The less cloth means there's more carbon, so there's definitely not much wrapping in that, that's all carbon, so that's a good sign. Safety first. Oh, so there's at least I get a point out of that anyway. I'll cover the point. Oh, so there goes the indoor arrows. The old NVXs aren't going too good at the moment. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I've had enough for today. Alrighty guys, we're back. Still with this dodgy phone camera. Still waiting for the camera to get back from the people to fix it. And I'm still having trouble with this paper tuning. But I think I've got it. I've come back. We've got something to eat. Life is shocking. Hopefully, we can get something happening now. I pulled this arrow back out. I'm tuning with this arrow again. So have you seen the last video? I smashed one of my new, brand new arrows. Straight through the paper. Straight into the... Paper tuning stand. Genius I am. But since then, that was the, I've moved the arm, um, well, I shot it once with it and then it all come to bits, but I've moved the thing right back. I think that's going to be the main problem. It's going to fix everything, fingers crossed. Let's have a shot and see what happens. That was it. So the problem was this. It's a little bit of a high tear now. We'll go have a look. Now before we do that, let's shoot the indoor arrows. What's this? This is a 150. 150 point weight. Guys, Ooh, that's nearly bullet hole in as well. Let's try the one twenty. when he's got a big tear I think I don't know if I went through the same hole let's go have a look but I think I've worked thing on there finally nearly got a bullet hole in it. 
finally. So this was the platinum, platinum pierce, just a little tiny high left. This was the 150 and this was the 120. Major high tear. So let's check the veins. We're getting any vein touching. The veins are all good, so we're not getting any contact with the veins. Let's shoot some more, shoot it again, see what happens. You gotta do it twice, I think. You gotta do it always twice with the paper. Alright, we'll be back. So second test. First one was looking good. But who would have known? Who would have thought? Probably everybody. But you've got to have this in the right place. bullet hole with that one. So a bullet hole and with the with the 150. A bullet hole and with the pierce. Just a fraction high tear. Bullet hole and with the 120s now. Oh, shot through the same hole. But all three pretty much bullet hole in now. Let's have a look. The tiniest high tear, I think. I think, I think. Here's the... Here's the 150 in the platinum, but here's the 120. So the 120 has got a bit of a low tear. Rest a fraction too high. Let's just lower the rest down just a fraction and see if we can get that board on. Alright, let's try that and see how we go. Alrighty, so um, I've moved the rest down just a fraction. Let's see what that does now. This is the 120 at a fraction low tear. There we go this time. It was a big whack, it was a big noise. Let's go have a look. Let's give him a look. Didn't take my... Stop that arrow pretty quick. Turn this target aim in a different bit. There we go, just turn the target a bit. So that was a 
still a low left tear. So we're getting a low left with uh, with the NVX 125s. Let's have a go with the 150s. See what happens. I'm thinking just to get these tuned in and cranking. Oh, the 150 hull's looking better than the 125 hull. So that's the... We're definitely tearing this way. Or are we tearing this way? That's where it's, it's definitely going in there, tearing down this way a little bit. All right, so let's go um, correct that, move the rest a little bit more and see what happens. All right guys, we'll be back. Okay, so move the rest over. Guys, just so much fiddling, shooting, fiddle, shooting, change there, shooting, change, shooting, change. These are the 120s. These are the 150s. Oh, the 150s are pulled all in now. Finally getting some results. Finally. So this was the 120. Didn't really do much at all. But this is the 150. Look at that. It's a fraction high. Let's just drop it down a fraction and see how we go. Get back to is when I've dropped it down. Move me rest down a fraction. These are the 120s. It seems the 150s are tuning in better than the 120s. One fifty is a dead set bullet hole in there. Let's go hectically check it out. Finally getting some bullet hole action. So there's the 120, still that low leftish tear. But look at the look at the 150, that's pretty bullet hole. Let's shoot them again and see what happens. Alright, just reshooting that at this, I haven't rechanged anything. We still get some bullet holes. This is the 
120 grain. Pretty similar. Bullet hole. Finally shooting bullet holes, God. Only took me all bloody day. Oh, nearly bullet hole, and anyway, what's that? Just a fraction low, still. This is low left. All right, what was this one? Fraction low as well. Okay, let's go down a little bit more and get this perfect. So I've lowered the rest a bit more. We're getting pretty close. Shoot the 150 first, see how we go. I think now we got it. We're very, very close. I think we're getting close, people, finally. Finally getting there, getting somewhere. Oh, now we got a fraction high tear. It's the fractionist high tear. This one's still a little bit left. So the 150 is tuned in better than the 120. Let's just go down a half a fraction more. See if we can get it completely bullet holing. <laughs> All right. Right, went back up a quarter of a turn. These are the 120s. Oh, they're starting to pull it all now too. Shot through a hole, hole, right there. Don't go anywhere. Go redo the 150. Shot through the same hole twice in a row. <sighs> Don't go anywhere. Take two.
Okay, I'll move the paper down so I can only hit fresh paper now. Here we go. Got the height right now. Definitely got the height right. Check this out. Now it's just sideways. So let's shoot it again. Make sure, double check. See what happens. because that's all I'm working on now. I know they're the best ones. Bullet hole. Just a fraction of the left. Tiniest little bit, the tiniest little bit. Just a fraction to the left. Both times. Alright, just a tickle, tickle over. Let's tickle it over and see how we go. Alrighty, I've moved over just the tiniest little bit. Let's see if that makes any difference. What a pain tuning is, God, I hate it. Now we've got it, I think. Now we've got the bullet hole. I think we've done it, people. I need a couple of um, confirmers, but from here it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, now that's a bullet hole, look at that, a fraction to the left again, just a fraction. Let's move it over just a tiny bit more, a tiny bit more, oh I'm getting perfect aren't I? Alrighty, just moved it over that tiny little fraction. See if we can get it any closer. I think that's it. I think it is. I think we've got there. I keep saying it, but every time I get up there, it's closer and closer and closer. Oh no, that's it. Look, we've got it. We've got a vein tear out of each side of the hole. That's the definition of a bullet hole in my class, in my category, in my definition. Now you can start to really micro-tune it, I think. Just look at that, it's just Dutch and high. Need one vein out of the top, one vein out the bottom, one vein out the side. Imagine having that. I'm going to keep going. I'm only moving at the tiniest little amounts now. My nudest little amounts.
we got it. From here, it looks like we got it. From here, it looks like we got it. We got it, got it, got it. We do, look at this. A vein, can we see, is it? We can. A vein tear either side of the hole. Now that's the definition of a bullet hole. Stay focused, you stupid camera. It's so bad, this camera, ain't it? Sorry, guys, I'll get the good camera back soon. So how's that? Finally got the bullet hole. So now, you know what I gotta do now? Spear shaft it. So another day tomorrow, I guess. I think that's gonna be it for today. Quit while I'm ahead. Broken arrow, broke about five knocks. Well, we got there in the end. The rest is squared up for these indoor arrows, and the 150s turned out the best. So I'll vein them up, get the 150s on, and hopefully get some new knocks sent out tomorrow. And uh, we'll be on. Get them express post, so we should have them Thursday. We'll be able to start bear shafting. So that'll be good, that'll be interesting. All right, guys, so uh, if you liked the video, finally getting bullet holes after all that effort. And you see, it's possible, it's doable. Just got to have, um, have faith and keep trying, keep fiddling. Keep adjusting, 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 you'll get there in the end. And then when you start to get close, then it's just fine little tuning each way, fine little quarter turn, quarter, a sixteenth of a turn, like just turning, just going dunk, 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 dunk. And you finally get one of those veins each side of the hole. God, oh, it took me a while today. But we got there. These arrows are going to be good, I'm telling you. Tuned to the bow. Loving it. Loving it big time. Alright guys, so uh, see you in the next one. Hit the like button for me. This is going to be a hell of a long one. Take a, Hit the subscribe button. Hit all the buttons. Hit everything for me. Hit that little bell too. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.